malado nasi malado nasi fi dinin wa dunya bdhulun duna manin bin nawali shujaum fi ikhtiyadin wa ihtinamin ila al islami ma tarkil muhali jawadun ikfa institut Al Madina Travel Salum Jida Sen Info International ak Tori Hatija Nia in America si njital sunyu Imam Muhammad Muntaha Saho nyolin di mai emission bu mak bi Bismillahirrahmanirrahim wa sallallahu ala sayyidina wa maulana Muhammadin wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa miqdarihi alazim Imam Abdul Wahid ibn Ashir after teaching us Al-Islam and its five pillars Al-Iman and its six pillars he wants to go to Al-Ihsan with us as it is in the hadith of Sayyiduna Rasulullah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He said Wa amma l'ihsanu Faqala man dara An ta'bud Allah Ka annaka tara Illam takun tarahu Innahu yarak Wa ad-deenu Dhi thalath Khud aqwa urak Very beautiful Say as for ihsan then the one who fully knows it, i.e. Sayyiduna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it is that you worship Allah as, as if you see him. If you do not see him, then you should know that he verily sees you. So he said, as to Ihsan, I'm not going to give you my own definition. I'm just going to give you the definition of the one who fully knows it. And that is Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. When Sayyidina Jibril alayhi wa sallam asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, akhbirni anil ihsan, he said, an ta'bud Allah ka anna ka tara. Fa in lam takun tarahu, fa innahu yarak. Ihsan is that you worship Allah as if you see him. For if you see, for if you do not see him, you should know that he sees you, Subhanahu wa Taala. That's the lower part of Ihsan, because if you do not think that Allah sees sees you, then you are something else as a than a Muslim. We know for sure that he sees us. So, Ihsan is the first, the, the third dimension. Of this deen. That's why he said, What deen of this salath? Deen is, uh, uh, how do you call it? It's comprised of these three. What deen of this salath? Khud aqwa urak. So grab, grasp your firmest hand hold. You have Iman, Islam, and Ihsan. Or you have Islam, Iman, and Ihsan. For you to have the entirety of of the deen. So when we do worship, our worship requires ihsan. Requires ihsan. Ihsan is to embellish. Hmm? Embellishment of our worship. Or ornament of our worship. Or perfecting our worship. The scholars they say that there is Ihsanul Islam wa Ihsanul Iman and there is Ihsanul Ihsan itself. There is Ihsan for Iman for Islam and Ihsan of uh, Islam and Iman Ihsan for Ihsan itself. Fal Iman ulahu Ihsan wal Islam ulahu Ihsan wal Ihsan ulahu Ihsan. وكل عبادة لله تبارك وتعالى فيها إحسان فيها إحسان when we apply إحسان in our Islam he says the scholars say 
many are Muslims, but they do not make their Islam perfect. Many are mu'mins, but they do not make their Iman perfect. To make our Islam and our Iman perfect is to apply Ihsan. Hmm? And to make our Ihsan perfect is to not see the Ihsan. If you see that you are perfecting, then you are not. Hmm? You do, but you do not rely, you do not see that you do. You only see Allah wa Taala's tawfiq and his fadl and blessing, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They say that to uh, perfect one's iman is that you have your iman as a radiant light that makes one obey the awamir of Allah, the commands of Allah Ta'ala, that makes one stay away from the forbiddances of Allah, that causes one to seek always the pleasure of Allah wa Ta'ala, that causes one to fear the punishment of Allah. Meaning the iman is, the, is, is like, is the light that shows you, shows you the path, shows you what is this and what is that. Hmm? When you have that radiant light in your heart, and that radiant light guides you to, I mean, shows you, oh, this is one of the things Allah wants you to do. Do it, and it makes you do. Oh, this is something you should stay away because Allah doesn't want it. Oh, this is something you want to do to please Him. This is something you want to um, make sure you don't do because it causes its punishment, His punishment, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we do that, then we do... We give Iman its due right. That's Tahsinul Iman. That's perfecting one's Iman. As for perfecting one's Islam, they said, to make sure that all our acts of worships are according to the Sharia of Allah Ta'ala. Hmm? For example, we do not want to engage in Nafl when we have not perfected, when we have not done performed our fart. Hmm? Some people, you know, when you talk about charity, they give charity. They're very generous. But they never think in their life to give zakat, for example. But they give charity here and there, but they forget the zakat. That's not tahsin al-Islam. Allah wa ta'ala says that مَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَّيَّ abdi. Yeah? You cannot get near to Allah with anything more beloved to him than what he has made fard. We have to complete, we have to perform the fard first, then we go to the sunan. Mm -hmm. For example, if we have a halaqa, ilmiya, the whole night, the whole night we're here, you know, it's a three o'clock, I go to bed to sleep and I miss the fart of Fajr. Why? Because I was all the night in a halaqa ilmi, which is a good thing. But if it causes me to miss the fart of Fajr, then it becomes not good anymore. It doesn't, it's not good anymore. Hmm? So we do the fart and then we perfect the fart with the sunan. Hmm? وما زال عبدي ولا يزال عبدي يتقرب عليك وسلام يتقرب إلي بالنوافل حتى أحبه حتى أحبه. So if you do the fard and continue to do the nafl, that will cause Allah Taala's love. And when He loves, He becomes our here with which we hear, our side with which we see, hmm? our 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 hand with which we take and give, our our leg, our feet with which we, we, we work, our everything. Whatever we do, we will do it then according to Allah wa ta'ala. That's why the Holy Prophet sallallahu said, إِنَّ الْعَبْدَ إِذَا أَسْلَمَ فَحَسَّنَ إِسْلَامَهُ مَحَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ كُلَّ سَيِّئَةٍ كَانَ زلفا. If a person is a, is a Muslim and he makes his Islam excellent, perfect, then Allah wa ta'ala will erase every single bad deed he did before. That's what the Holy Prophet said. And part of perfecting one's Islam, as the Holy Prophet said, is to abandon that which does not concern us. 
that which does have no benefit for us does not mean does not concern us min husni islam in mari tarkuhu ma la yani part of the perfection of islam of a person's islam is to stay away from anything that does not concern him that does not concern him hmm? that's what allah tabarak wa ta'ala uh, teaches and that is what the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in ihsan in husn al khuluq ihsan in in good conduct in good character and the good character with allah first in good character with the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then good character with the creation of allah tabarak wa ta'ala and good character with allah tabarak wa ta'ala is that uh, we whenever we do worship whenever we do anything we know that we are with him and he's with us we you know we feel allah's presence we live allah tabarak wa ta'ala's presence subhanahu wa, wa ta'ala hmm. hmm that 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 in in sul adab they say bad character with allah tabarak wa ta'ala is that you show him from yourself mercy if you if i know allah is seeing me and yet i disobey him Uh, that's disrespecting Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Hmm? I'm be- between his heavens and earth. I'm uh, under his authority and power. He could take me as of now. If he sees me where he does not want to see me, that is what disrespecting him subhanahu wa, wa-, wa ta'ala. Hmm? May Allah ta'ala grant us that. It's 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 Amen. uh and they say good character with ihsan uh, husn al khuluq ma'a rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam is to give uh, nasiha and to have adab with the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to um, have the, the 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 respect of the holy prophet in our heart and to give nasiha to the ummah of the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for the sake of the love we have for allah and for rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam because allah tabarak wa ta'ala says inna arsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadhiran litu'minu billahi wa rasulihi wa tu'azziruhu wa tuwaqqiruhu wa tusabbihuhu bukratan wa asila hmm? at ta'zir and tawqir is for rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa tasbih is for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hmm? to dignify the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to see how great the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is in our hearts how beautiful he is in our hearts yeah. because everything that we are doing now uh, he deserve we he, he deserves our acknowledgement our, our our respect because he's the one he told us what allah ta'ala wants us to do subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. so that's uh, imam malik rahmatullah alayhi used to say to students if you knew what i know you would have laughed a little and cry a lot law 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 ta'lamuna ma alimtu la dhahiktum qalilan wa law adraktum ma adrakt la dhahiktum qalilan wa la bakin kathira meaning if you lived the time i lived if you met with people i met you would have cried a lot and um laughed uh, uh, you know a little why did he mention ja'far ibn muhammad Ja'far ibn 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 Muhammad al-Baqir radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ma he said he was a he was kind of that du'aba he used to like uh, uh, he used to be a funny man a funny guy he used to say jokes but fa idha dhukra 'indahu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam baka hatta ka'annahu ma 'arafaka wa la 'araftahu he said when but in the middle of the jokes or any conversation if the name of the prophet sallallahu alayhi is mentioned he says he starts you know weeping crying to the extent that you would think you've never met him he has never met you he doesn't even see people anymore because of the respect he had for rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and and muhammad ibn al-munkadir is one of the sheikhs of imam malik as well he said muhammad ibn al-munkadir whenever he uh, talked about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam his 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 face became yellow out of respect for the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so he say to the extent that we will just get up and go out of mercy you know you would have mercy on him he, he, you know he can't help the yellowness of uh, some people why, why, why people get yellow here when they when they're shy or when they were or huh huh when they're scared you know or when they are ashamed or something or not. but this is he did that out of respect of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbi that's how they love the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam sidna umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu 
he once uh, was going out in, uh, in, in Medina, you know, Sidna Umar was a very responsible leader. He used to go out at night to check if everything was okay. And he arrived at a, at a, 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 in a neighborhood and he, he heard a woman singing. And he got near to the door of, that, of, the, of the house. And the woman was, was, was saying these lines of poetry about the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ala Muhammadin Salatul Abrar. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Sallallahu alayhi, sallallahu alayhi, tayyibun al-akhiyar. Qad kunta qawwaman bukam bil ashar. Ya layta sha'ri, ya layta sha'ri wal manaya atwar. Hal tajma'anni wa habibi yaddar. Said, upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the salawat of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, and the salawat of good people. And he said, O Muhammad, you were always standing at night praying, crying for Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala's sake, you know, at, at the end of the night, at the of dawn time. He said, I wish I knew. I know that one day I will die. I wish I knew that these days that are coming will make me, give me the chance to meet my beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, you know, sat down there crying weeping until he heard the other <laughs> out of love of the Holy Prophet so this is Ihsan Ihsan is as the Holy Prophet said to worship Allah as if you see him if you don't arrive to that state huh, at least you know that he sees you subhanahu wa ta'ala and how do we, how we are we, we are given a job we are honored by Allah let's say you have a job and you are before your your boss and you know that if you don't do the job he's going to fire you what are you going to do you know that you will do the job perfectly so Allah tabarakat has given us this 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 job of ibadah huh? and firing us is is, is something we don't want to deal with and 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 what whoever we know, and whoever we do not know, they are nothing next to Allah Tabaraka wa, wa Taala. And we, when we, when we behave like we see Him, we do the job well. And if we can't arrive, reach there, we know that He sees us, and we still do the job well. And that Allah Tabaraka wa Taala, no heaven can hide Allah Taala from an another from another heaven. No earth can be between him and another earth. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The big mountain cannot prevent Allah from seeing what is behind, what, in, what is below the mountain. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sea, no matter how big this ocean you see, Allah ta'ala has access to the below of the sea. He sees everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hmm? He sees everything. We are among the, little, the smallest of things that Allah wa ta'ala deals with. And he deals with everyone. He says, Wa ma'akum is with you, wherever you are, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he says, Wadinu this salat, khud akwa urak. You know, this is the 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 the, 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 the this is the deen, the history. If you are to hold on anything, hold on this. Because it's never gonna let you down. You're never gonna lose it. You're never gonna be um, a loser as long as you have this 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 deen. Huh? Allah, as Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Baqarah, لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقى لن فصام لها والله سمع عليم So you have this Iman, you have this Islam, and you have this Ihsan. The ulama who suluk, they have another way of teaching these three things because they make Islam three dimensions. Hmm? And Iman, three dimensions, and Ihsan itself, three dimensions. You know? That's from Tawbah to Al Ma'rifah Billah. Tawbah to Taqwa in Istiqamah. They say these are the maratib of Islam. Uh, 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 sidq, Al Ikhlas, Al uh, Tuma'nina. These are the three dimensions of, of Iman. And Al Muraqabah, Al Mushahad, Al Ma'rifah. These are the three dimensions of Ihsan. Time is flying. We, can, we don't want to go through, through this. Huh? But there are there are three in three in three. These nine mutadakhilun. Huh? Tawbah is the, the the first step. Huh? 
But my one of our sheikhs he did, said no, yaqadha, to wake up, to wake up. Because before you know before you make tawbah you need to know that you're being wrong, that you're doing wrong. And that's that's the state of wakefulness. When you are when you are awake then you will repent. And that gonna, that's gonna lead to uh, the remaining ones up to the knowing of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. He said that though Ma'arifah is the highest level you can reach, but Tawbah is the best level. Because without Tawbah, there is no Ma'arifah. And tawbah, the real Tawbah is to not see Tawbah. That's why we say the real Ihsan is to not see Ihsan. You keep working towards it. Huh? You keep working towards it. You should keep working. Uh, yes. They say, Man al-ikhlasi, ikhlasu wa yahtaju ikhlas If you see that you are sincere, you need sincerity. You need to work on your sincerity. You have to be sincere without seeing you are sincere. Sayyidina Umar used to ask Hudayfa, am I mentioned in the red list <laughs> of the muna- of Munafiqun? Huh? Umar asking if he was a hypocrite. Huh? That means he is the real mu'min mu'min because he didn't see his imam. He saw Allah Ta'ala's hand. He saw Allah Ta'ala's action. Wallahu khalaqakum wa ma ta'amalun. جعلنا الله منهم يا رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم واخر دعوانا الحمد لله انا لن غين دون وتي تي مكه موي جلاب موي توراي موي بيب اكسيسوار بوي جوغي مكه انا لو غين دي وتي مكه ليب لو خامني دا غين كوي جيلي جي با دبي ليب لو خامني دا غين كوي جيلي جي مانام فوفو نغا خامني مومو دي تي مكه تول مكرم امنا في نغا خامني مومو دي تي سالوم جيدا سالوم جيدا نيك في تي 48 ري فلوريس انغل بول اول موي لي نغا خامني مومو دي ايجاب يي نغا خامني كات موم لا جيغي ني دي مورو موي لي نغا خامني مومو دي توراي موي زمزم موي ليب لو خامني دا دي ابا wala sijada lepp li nga xamni mom ngeen ci bëgg ñew leen fi nga xamni mom modi 48 rue fleuris angle paul hall da ngeen bëgg li nga xamni kat mom modi oud wala ambre vip muy parfum yu amana yoy di baye ko makatul mukarram wala fofu nga xamni mom modi kat ci dubai jalaba ya nga ok kurus ya nga fi mbaxane ya nga fa parfum oud ya nga fa sijada yu bax ya nga fa kamin ya nga fa lepp loy soxla te muy juge mak te muy juge dubai ñewal fi nga xamni mom modi salum jid 48 rue Fleuris Angle Paul Hall marché Sandaga Dakar bazin yu bax sax am nañ ko bazin yu baxa 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 bax ci Saloum Djida rawatina nak lem yo xamni ñinga jugé mak yi miel delal gaw 77 356 32 32 77 356 32 32 wala 77 562 24 24